Golly, I hope this doesn't look like a creepy stalking video. This is Love Library on the University of Nebraska-Lincoln campus, where you see I'm looking up Ken Wilber's 1973 master's thesis in biochemistry. Turns out it was held a few miles away on UNL's East Campus, or the Agricultural Campus, which I should have figured out since the topic had to do with dissecting bovine retina. It was at the C.Y. Thompson Library here, and there it is, to your right, a bit, next to the shabby one they didn't bother to bind in hardback. There's me, creepily clutching onto it. Pretty soon you'll see my youngest daughter there. She is patiently waiting with her Dolly Shannon while I sift through the first few pages. Uh, noting, what do we have here? Permissions page. And the title page here. Cation content and movement in bovine retina and retinal subcellular components. We have the approving faculty. And the date the bottom, December 1973, the dedication page, and here are the acknowledgments. Thank you, 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 thank you. And here's the table of contents. Oh boy, lots of dissecting of 40 minutes, one minute, five minutes. These aren't shrimp, Ken. It's cattle. Finally, the introduction. Looks pretty intense to me. While I show you some of the still shots of this manuscript, let me just say that I haven't looked at this book in almost 25 years. I had first started reading Wilbur's work in 1986 or so. A psychology professor of mine at UNL, Dr. Monty Page, made no boundary required reading. And he raved about this guy, lamenting that he had the misfortune of never having met Ken, who he believed would be regarded years later as one of the greatest theorists ever, the likes of Maslow. As a poor college student, I, wasn't looking to, I went looking to find some of his books at the university library. Sadly, there wasn't much room for books like his. You had to find them at the Way Home bookstore in South Lincoln, which was also the meet-up location for psychics and UFO ET contactees. You know, I was only a young lad when Ken wrote this thesis, so I can only imagine now that his work at the Red Rooster restaurant in South Lincoln might have coincided with him cleaning off my plate of chicken bones in the kitchen. But go Huskers, Ken. Go Big Red. You were one of the reasons I majored in psychology and philosophy at UNL. I'm sorry you felt the need to move to the likes of Colorado. But now that they're in a different athletic conference, it doesn't matter anymore. Your theoretical roots remain as frisky dirt underneath the UNL campus.